remember it like it was yesterday. It was probably that event that led me to the sea. It was windy and the rain was pouring. All of my buddies had long since crawled back to their homes, but not me. I was with Yana, a sea dog like the ones you see in a book. And I was still young, inexperienced, reckless. Still, Yana was my best friend. He was the first foreman on the Heligoland Sea Rescue Cruiser. And as the rain whipped against the portholes, I was still standing there on this magnificent ship in my oil skin. I just didn't want to leave. This water, this sea, these forces in nature, they fascinate me. Yes, I remember it like it was yesterday. This rain, the harbinger of the events that were to shape the rest of my life. Pete! Pete, can you hear me? Come to the cockpit, I need your help. We've got an emergency. Use your mouse to look around. You can move around using the W, A, S, and D keys. If you use your mouse and keyboard at the same time, you'll make faster progress. Come here to me. You'll find me in the cockpit of the Sea Rescue Cruiser. Pete! Ah, there you are. And now... Shh! Listen to the radio. Herman Marvita from MRCC Bremen. Yona Foss, do you copy? Yes, I copy, Bremen. What's wrong? A pilot has reported a drifting sailing yacht. With these water temperatures, we're very concerned about the crew. Position? I'm afraid that's currently unknown. We're just calculating the search area. Roger. We're on our way. Pete, Guy, there's no time to lose. We need to set sail, and you need to help me. There she is. The Herman Marvida in her entire glory. Hold down the right mouse button and move the mouse if you want to look at her from all sides. You'll find the camera option at the top of the screen. You can use this option to change camera angles at any time. You can return to the free view by selecting the orbiter option. We're in a hurry. Help me steer the ship. Press the cursor keys to do so. You can also use the mouse to click the control buttons at the bottom of the screen. Okay, now, full speed ahead. We need to rescue a yacht's crew. She capsized in a storm. I'm afraid we don't know exactly where they are, but Maritime Rescue in Bremen has sent us a search area. On the map at the bottom of the screen, you can see which direction you need to travel in to get to the search area. Navigate the Marvita in the direction of the green arrow on the edge of this map. Hurry, we need to reach the search area fast. Well done, my boy. We've reached the search area. We need to scout the search area and stay on the lookout for a sailing yacht. The boundaries of the search area are marked on the navigation map below as a rectangular box.
Great job, Pete. I can see them. Bremen, we've found the castaways. There's also a fire on the sailing yacht. Roger, Marvita. Good luck with the rescue operation. Right, buddy. This is where the going gets tough. We need to launch the Verena and rescue the castaways. They won't survive for very long in waters this cold. You have to take the Verena, and I'll stay here and keep the Marvita steady. We'll deal with the fire later. Human lives come first. The Verena is our daughter boat. You can launch her by using the C key. Or you can also run over to the daughter boat in first person mode and click her with the mouse. Good work, Pete. First lesson as a sea rescuer. Rescue almost always takes place from the daughter boat. You can use her to get closer to castaways, especially when the water is shallow. Find the castaways. They must be somewhere near the yacht. Head towards the castaway in the Verena so that he's on your right hand side. Then switch to rescue view. Alternatively, you can press the F10 key. In this view, click the castaway with the mouse to grab him and pull him into the Verena. You got him. Great, buddy. MRCC Bremen. We've got one of the castaways. He seems to be doing well. Good work. Bremen, you've got the second castaway. Roger. Thank you for your great work. Pete deserves all the thanks. That seems to be all of them. Bring the castaways to me for treatment. I'll open the aft hatch for you. Then you can enter the Marvita with the Verena. Hello, Pete. That was brilliant work. I'll bring the castaways to the onboard hospital and treat them. You need to take care of the fire. Don't panic. I'll give you further advice over the radio. We need to extinguish the source of the fire. We use the fire monitor to do this. Select the fire monitor view from the camera menu. Then click the left or right mouse buttons to activate one of them. MRCC Bremen, this is Foss from the Marwede. Our new recruits got the fire under control. The fire's out. Congratulations to the new recruit. How are the castaways doing? They're in mild shock and are suffering from hypothermia, but they've already been given hot drinks. I'm sure they'll recover in no time. But without the help of our new employee, we wouldn't have been able to get them out of the water so fast. Roger, great job. Can you tow the yacht? I guess we'll have to pump her out first. She looks like she's taken a real beating. All right. Good luck. You heard it, Pete. We still have to pump the water out of the vessel. You need to position the sea rescue cruiser close enough to the extinguished sailing yacht so that we can get our drainage pumps in position. No worries. I'll take care of mounting the pump later myself. You just concentrate on the maneuver. When you're close enough to the yacht, a button will appear above the ship. Click it. This will activate the transfer of the pump. Let's start. Yes, now we're close enough. I'm going to start pumping out the sailing yacht. Keep the ship steady. Okay, I'm across. Let's start. 
I'll bring the hose out and check the damage. So... Done. It wasn't such a big leak. I was able to... The ship doesn't look as bad as I'd feared on the inside. But it's a complete mystery to me how the fire started. We need to bring the ship to Heligoland. A surveyor can look at the damage there. I'll stay here, and you need to cast a line to the sailing yacht. Switch to first person mode in the camera menu. Alternatively, you can press the F11 key. Go to the railing first person view and press the right mouse button to pick up a line. Then it's all about good aiming. Press the left mouse button to cast the rope. You'll need to throw it onto the sailing yacht so I can fasten her to us. No pressure. You have as many attempts as you need. Once you hit the yacht, you'll need to fasten the other end of the rope to a bit on the Marvita with a mouse click. Bear in mind, if you're too far away, the Marvita will first need to be maneuvered closer to the yacht. Work, boy. I'll just fasten the line and come back over. Pete, that's completely out of the question. You were born a seaman. I couldn't wish for a better rescuer than you. Come on, let's get this sick kid home. You're already familiar with the Marvita's controls. You can see where the port of Heligoland is on the map at the bottom of your screen. Just follow the arrow on the edge of the map. For easier controls, you can switch to the orbiter camera perspective if you want. Pete, you should let the MRCC and Bremen know that we're coming back. To do so, click on the radio at the top of the screen. This is MRCC Bremen. Anything to report? We're bringing the disabled vessel to Heligoland. Roger, Herman Marvita is bringing the disabled vessel to P3. P3 is the designation for our mooring at our station. Well done, Pete. Bravo! That's him. That's my boy. A textbook sea rescuer. Windy weather, boys. Stormy weather, boys. When the wind blows, we're all together, boys. <laughs> Pete, there's no doubt about it. You're neck and crop. A sea rescuer. Yana was right, as always. There's no going back. I knew that I wanted to be exactly that. 
a sea rescuer. <laughs> 